In this training module, we're going to go over a few off-highway connections for some examples. We're going to start with a Kubota skid steer. So we're going to select construction vehicles and special vehicles. From here, we're going to select Kubota. Now we're going to select diesel injection and our ECU engine control unit. We're going to select the T55 connection. Keep in mind some off-highway vehicles will need external power to power up the ECM during communication. Here you're going to select which tier group your Kubota is. For example, this vehicle is a tier 4. Once connected, you'll notice that we don't have any fault codes present. Now let's go to the Parameters tab. Here's all of our live data. Let's scroll through and take a look at what's all available on this particular model. This model has a total of 74 parameters. Let's go down here and look at the dashboard. Here you'll see some 2D graphical views. Here we have the fuel system. Next we have the inlet, outlet, and EGR. And then we have the after treatment system. Now let's take a look at some of these other tabs. Under the ECU Info tab, we have a lot of the same material that we've noticed in some of the other videos, such as injector codes and ECM part numbers and serial numbers. Under the activations, we have our injector cutoffs, intake throttle valve, EGR valve actuations, and then under the settings, we have our regens and our soot load resets. We also have injector compensation and supply pump learnings. If we ever need any information about any of these tests, we can always hit the help icon and read the information that's provided. Now let's try another way to connect. If there ever comes a time where you can't find the exact model, all you have to do is go to industrial engines. Here we'll go into industrial engines, we'll choose John Deere, and then we'll do diesel injection. We'll choose tier 4. From here we'll select the 9 pin adapter. Now that we're connected, you'll see that we have an unknown error. It's a memory fault. But let's go ahead and double click that code to get some information from it. Here we have a 3516 FMI 7 code. Now let's take a look at all of our parameters. On this model, we have 138. Now keep in mind, we went in through industrial engines. We did not choose a specific model. So anytime you have problems finding a model, or if you don't find complete information on an ECU when selecting a specific model, then you can always go in through the industrial engines and check that way. So we'll just keep going through some of these options and some of these lists and show you some of the data that's available in industrial engines.
So now let's go ahead and jump to the dashboard icon and see what dashboards are available. Here we have fuel system, we have intake and EGR, and then we have after treatment. Now let's move over to the ECU info tab. Keep in mind that the information will all be very similar across models, but some will have different information than others. As you can see the difference between the Kubota that we just hooked to versus the John Deere that we are currently hooked to. Now we're in the activations tab. You'll notice that all the activations are still able to be performed even though we're under industrial engines. Let's go ahead and do a cylinder cutoff. We'll use the up and down arrows to scroll between cylinders. By pressing confirm, we'll disengage cylinder one. Notice the engine RPM change. Now let's go into the settings tab. And from here we'll do the DPF service regeneration. We're not going to run a full regen, we'll just start it so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Then we'll get a little help box that's going to show us the interlocks that have to be performed in order for the regen to start. Now let's confirm and start the regen. This is showing our engine speed is around 1700 RPM. And this concludes our connection tips and tricks off highway module.